What's going on folks? This is Rodney Bennett here. Just wanted to do a little quick video and show you guys some examples of my sculpture work. Now, I've always loved sculpting. Absolutely always loved doing it. I learned how to sculpt during my time at um, North Carolina Central University under uh, Rosie Thompson. Good energy, Rosie. Anywho, um, <laughs> uh, I want to show you a uh, sculpture bus here that I did of uh, the uh, first Avenger, Captain America. Okay, now I do my sculpture bus by hand, of course, and um, they're all originals. So whenever you po purchase a uh, sculpture bus from me what will happen is if your buddy gets one your buddy's not going to get the same one okay so you're always going to have an original now you notice what I'll do is I'll build a uh, base uh, on it and then down here I will um, put my uh, signature in there and then come back if you uh, let's say you get it you want it to be uh, painted then I can do that as well um, what I'm using is I'm using a, uh, a Sculpey and I'm, um, uh, you know, baking it and whatnot. And then once I get it done, I'll put a, a primer on there and then I'll, um, add whatever type of, uh, a paint job or, um, uh, shellacking or what, <laughs> what not, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'll go ahead and I'll put on there. But, um. I really like this one. I think this is really nice. Now, all the ones I'm showing that I'm going to show you, um, they are available for purchase. Uh, if you decide that you want me to do one for you, that is, um, you know, something that uh, that is not what I've shown today. Uh, uh, these are those are uh, considered uh, custom um, sculpts, and so uh, all of my uh, sculpts start at. $200 and go up depending on uh, the size that you desire and what you might uh, you know be standing in need of what you might want um, and the detail that is going to go into it okay so the price can go up from there but like I said it's starting at uh, $200 um, well worth the money well worth it okay alright so I'll, I'll let you get another few glimpse of that I'll tighten up a little bit so you can kind of see what's happening okay I wish I had one of those little stand things that you know you can just hit and you know, just turn around look at that profile it's serious business serious business you know what I'm looking forward to um, Captain America Civil War I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, hit me up in the comments let me know what, uh, <laughs> what you think about that um, anywho, okay, so that is Captain America, okay, all right, all right, folks, you see, we have none other than the Jolly Green Giant himself, well, he's actually not green, he's actually kind of, uh, kind of white right here, but, um, <laughs> the Incredible Hulk, um, Dr. Bruce Banner. Look at the profile on that mug. Look at that. Now, I want to tell you the truth. I absolutely enjoyed myself working on this thing. I had been wanting to do another um, Incredible Hulk uh, sculpt, uh, sculpture uh, for a long time. I did one when I was in college, and it was larger than life size. The uh, it was head and shoulders. It was very, very, very big. Um, uh, older lady purchased that at, uh, at a um, auction. You know, if I'd have been thinking, I'd have got the information so then I can get photos of it. But anywho, you know, it is what it is. You live and you learn, right? Um, but take a look there. Okay, there goes that base. And, and like the bases on these ones that I've done, I want to give it some texture and, uh, and and make it look, you know, real organic and real rocky. 
And so, you know, I come in there and I'll start um, uh, using my tools to kind of give me that feel. Look at that big wide back. This dude's serious business. He's not playing games. Hulk is the strongest there is. It's the real deal, Holyfield. Okay, look at that here. Okay. Now this is another one, this is an original, okay? There is no other one to this. All right, so you purchase this, you might decide, well, Rod, um, can you put some color on there for me? I want some color. You might decide that you want the color to be gray. You might decide you want it to be green. You might even say, hey man, can you make it red? You might say, I need some polka dots or stripes. Whichever one you want, you let me know and we can uh, hook it up and make it happen for you okay alright on to the next one okay folks now um, I did this one a while back but you know what I like it and so I said that I would uh, I would show it to you guys now this is a, a John Stewart Green Lantern that I did uh, a ways back and um, at that time I was doing a lot of uh, mini bus that had arms folded and whatnot and stuff like that um, and I want to tell you I want to give a shout out to uh, Randy Bowen from uh, uh, Randy Bowen Designs um, I was heavily influenced by a lot of his work that he did on um, a Marvel line of characters man I, I think his work is absolutely awesome Randy if you see this video because I plan to tag you. If you see this video, hit me up, man. I'd love to talk with you, man. Your work is absolutely awesome. And you have inspired me, my friend. Yes, you have. Okay, anywho. Um, uh, this one actually does not have a, a base. At that time, I, you know, I, I wasn't doing bases. Um, I wasn't building bases onto the um, onto these bus, so uh, you see I have it on a uh, little yogurt container. You can use yogurt containers for all kinds of things, you know. Today I'm using it for a base, so I can turn this around. Okay, look at that profile, strong. Okay, now this one right here. The ring used to be on there, but some kind of way, man, that thing chipped off. I have to build it back on. Okay. But you'll notice, um, I just have indicators to where the, um, where his uh, symbol or uh, insignia would be. What will happen is, when this thing gets painted, then that's when all that extra detail and stuff goes in there. But at this stage, I don't feel like I need to you know, um, deal with trying to sculpt it in there, you know, unless that was the feel that I wanted, unless I want it to feel like it's erased, okay. Right. On to the next. Look at that mug. None other than Ben Grimm from the Fantastic Four. Okay, now this one right here took me some time, as you can tell, to get that texture in there for his uh, his rocky skin. Look at that mug. Let's see if I can get in tighter. Okay, here's one I painted a while back. Uh, it's one of my favorites here. This is, of course, you know who it is. I don't even have to tell you. But um, this is what the paint job looks like. Okay. Let 
you know, and I paint the shadows in there and all that kind of good stuff. Now the fine line, I used a uh, micron pen to do that once the uh, once the paint dried. Now I used oil paint <laughs> or this man. I used oil paint to give me no. Was it oil? No, it wasn't oil. It was acrylic paint I used to uh, like Liquitex to give me kind of like a um, uh, skin type of uh, type of a feel. And then I came back and uh, used a little sponge to give me a um, more of a fabricy type of a feel. Then I put a, uh, a gloss on top of it. Okay, so like all that is done with um, with uh, a marker. Coming in, lock it in there with the marker. All the shade, all the shading is done with um, with brush. Okay, right, and then that's my base there. You know, now I want to say that uh, if you're a comic creator and let's say you've created a character and you would like to have a um, sculpture bust done, I can accommodate you on that. Make sure that you uh, uh, message me or hit me in the comments and let me know what you're interested in and send me some um, different uh, angles or viewpoints of your character. Make sure your images are very clear and uh and you know easy to read and whatnot and we can make that thing happen for you okay anywho this has been like 12 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and stop hey thanks for your support get your sculpture bus bless your own self get some artwork in your home from master artist rodney bennett god bless you